Here's why you shouldn't pay portfolio recovery a dime until you watch this entire video first. My name is Michael Waslick. I'm one of the lawyers at Ricardo and Waslick here in Florida. Together with my partner, Jason Ricardo, I help people just like you overcome foreclosure and debt collection with dignity. And today I'm going to tell you why portfolio recovery is something you shouldn't pay a dime to unless you first watch this video all the way through and educate yourself and know your rights. So portfolio recovery is a debt collector and a junk debt buyer. And that means that they buy uh, old, stale, charged off credit card debt from credit card companies. They spend pennies on the dollar and they want to turn that into dimes, quarters, and even dollars by collecting it from people just like you. And the way they do that is they buy these mass uh, pools of loans and they get an Excel spreadsheet with a list of names and a list of numbers. And then they start sending letters, making phone calls to the people on that list. And you might find yourself as the target of one of those debt collection efforts. You might be getting letters, you might be getting phone calls, and you might be afraid of what's going to happen next. Uh, if the attempts to collect the debt with a letter or a phone call are unsuccessful, sometimes Portfolio will take people to court. They'll file small claims lawsuits here in Florida, and they'll try to make the court uh, enter a judgment against you. And then after they enter a judgment, they'll try to garnish your wages or seize other assets that you might have that might be exposed. It's why it's very, very important if you get served with a lawsuit from Portfolio, you cannot ignore it. You need to treat it responsibly. Uh, you need to attack it head on. If you don't, you may find yourself getting your wages garnished. And that's one of the number one complaints we hear about junk debt buyers like Portfolio and other companies is when the wage garnishment starts coming and you notice that a big chunk of your paycheck is missing because you've already got a judgment against you. Head it off at the pass. Take care of it early before it becomes too late. Now, you may be asking yourself, can I just settle this? Can I get it removed from my credit report? Can I avoid garnishment if I just talk to them? And the answer is settling with them is almost always going to be the way you resolve it, but you have to settle in the right way. When you are in that first phase, that debt collection phase where they're sending you letters and making phone calls, and all it is is communications, there's no court action, there's no wage garnishment, you're still in the early phase of that debt collection, uh, they're going to offer you settlement proposals. And usually those are going to be not very good for you. They're going to offer something along the lines of 80 to 90% of the debt, which for most people is out of reach. If they had that much money, they would have paid it back long ago. And most people never had that much money in the beginning because that's why they were borrowing it to begin with. So those initial settlement conversations you're having with portfolio are almost never going to be some acceptable form of settlement for you. Instead, you're going to need to figure out some other opportunity. Um, and by the way, that 80 to 90% settlement proposal that you're getting is a bad deal. It's almost always a bad deal. Remember, they paid pennies on the dollar for this debt and they're trying to convert it into 80 or 90% of the recovery. Well, that's how they become a billion dollar company uh, making billions of dollars every year based on collections from people like you. So you can pay less if you take the right approach. The only way to make them come up with a reasonable settlement offer is to make them respect you. If they know you know what you're doing, if they know you're serious about defending your rights, if they know you know your rights, they are eventually going to get to a point where they make a more reasonable offer. So in this particular case uh, with Portfolio, the people who are making the phone calls and sending you the letters don't have any information, they don't have any power, and they don't have any real authority to work a better deal with you. They have limits. That's as low as they can go. It's not until uh, your debt gets escalated to somebody in the legal department that they actually have the power, the knowledge, and the incentive to settle with you for something reasonable. By the way, one of the things that they might offer you if you are not able to make that 80%, 90% lump sum payment, they're going to offer you something like a payment plan. This is a trap. Don't fall into the trap. Because what happens is, is they'll offer you something like $25 or $50 a month until the whole thing's paid off. Do the math. That is going to be months, if not years worth of payments. If you miss even one, let's say your, uh, you know, let's say your employer shuts down due to an unexpected illness 
or you lose your job or something happens where you miss a paycheck that you weren't expecting and you miss that $25 or $50 a month payment. Um, we've had people, for example, they changed bank accounts and, and a payment got missed because it was an auto pay. Um, that's bad news for you because it, uh, uh, the settlement agreements that portfolio will sign with you will often have a kicker in it. That kicker is if you miss that payment, then suddenly you owe the full amount, no matter what percentage you settled for, and they can collect it from you right away. In some cases, that means wage garnishment. In some cases, that means portions of your paycheck are going to disappear. You do not want to enter a payment plan. The other reason these payment plans are a terrible idea, because they're going to demand that you give up your banking information, and they're not going to send you a written agreement until after you give up your banking information. Now, would you do that for anybody else who is on the phone with you? If you, you know, if you do, it's almost always a mistake. Never give up your banking information to somebody on the phone. Don't even talk to Portfolio on the phone if you don't have to, because nothing they say on the phone with you is going to help you, including these bogus trap settlement options they're going to offer you. Instead, you want to make sure that they respect you. You want them to escalate to their legal department so that you're actually talking to somebody with or without the help of a lawyer. Uh, you're talking to somebody who has information, power, and authority to make a reasonable settlement offer with you. Now, if you're wondering how to do that, that is something that we do all the time with junk debt buyers. We do this multiple times a day uh, for a variety of junk debt buyers, including portfolio. So if you want to know how to settle your portfolio for as little as possible, for as cheap as possible, while protecting your future finances from a ruinous, disastrous settlement offer, give us a call. Now, if you've been experiencing uh, uh, debt collection from Portfolio, drop a comment. Let us know what's going on. If you're in Florida, we'd love to talk to you. If you're in some other state, we may be able to direct you to an attorney who can help you as well. But if you want to give us a call, there's a click to call link in the description. Give us a call. We'll give you a free 30-minute appointment. Mention this video, which is the Don't Pay Portfolio a Dime video, and we will give you that free 30-minute appointment to tell you what you need to do in order to maximize your settlement opportunities in order to get the best possible settlement out of companies like Portfolio Recovery and other junk debt buyers. So give us a call. Click the call link in the description before uh, is in the description below. Um, also, phone number if you want to just dial. And uh, but if you're on mobile, hit the click to call. Uh, leave a like if this has been helpful. Share it with somebody else if you know somebody who needs uh, help with this. Subscribe if you want to learn more about debt collection and protecting your credit report from junk debt buyers. Hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.